So you wanna welcome back to some more FGO. We're gonna continue a little bit more with the Prisma Code event, or rather the story at least. And um, yeah, Svai, the land of dragon and sea. I like that I'm using the kind of naming they use in the anime and all that. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. To be honest, I'm a Hufflepuff as well. Or possible Schnargabargle. Mew. Answer me, Miyu. Miyu Edifel, you still refuse to be mine. What the fuck was that? Don't touch me. Undo these restraints. The magic energy of yours flowing through the Voile de Duel is simply wonderful. But it's not just about the magical energy. Your existence function is superb as. I legit have, don't remember who this is. Who the fuck is this? Yes, a little morning it will reach the outside world. Just one more step, and I will be able to fulfill my dream. I refuse to negotiate with someone who don't show her face. <laughs> I'm the first lady, that's what they call me. Ah, you're the president's wife? As long as I will have all of your magic calls, you can't resist me. <laughs> you bit my lip. You look submissive, but you're stubborn one, aren't you? I don't mind that. That's weird. The first are you. Those restraints, the vo de vol de well are alive. Will the spell that continues either way at your magical circle reach your subconscious mind first? Or will your precious Ilias will arrive here first? I wonder which it will be. Either way, I will accomplish it, the dream of abandoned girls. Hey. Yeah. That's weird. That's weird! It's so sexually weird! Schnei! Ein, zwei, drei, vier, wunsch, ich. Six, seven, auch, nine. Out! I still remember part of this recounting jam. At least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, in the ocean, I can see dolphins swimming over there too. I tap down there. I still can't believe that this is some, someone's imaginary world. Me neither. The scale of this is large as a whole great phenomenon. Speaking of which, we were lucky that Rube was equipped with navigation mode. You truly are all purpose. Sailing wouldn't have been possible had it been on our own. I'm surprised to see Rube is actually helpful. Ah, oh, you're praising me too much. <laughs> hey, I'm always helpful. Have up to 20 C secret function. I can pretty much do anything, you know? That sounds weird. Since we've taken for refreshing, why don't we eat? That's a good idea. Are these bento boxes from Caldea? Can we each choose our own? I can hold it aside. Ilya, which one would you like? Yay, I'm actually starving. Any, mini, miny, mo, who's gonna die because they're a hoe? Isn't that how it usually go? Maybe it's just me, my, my child, being weird. <laughs> Maputufu. Yeah. It, it's hot. Is this freshly made? What? So did you cook this yourself? The chef in a red overcoat told you how? With the ingredient the doctor provided? When did you? I mean... I, I guess I mean, it's nice to teach me, but I half expected Kray to do it himself. This mafu tofu is amazing. I can actually eat it. It's not dangerous looking color. It's a little bit spicy, just slightly sweet. So it's not like the one Kray eats. I want to try that one out, but my ass gonna look like a Japanese flag afterwards, that for sure. Because holy crap, my white ass will bleed. <laughs> Probably, I just assume it will. Oh, I never imagined such a safe map to, to exist in this world. Is that supposed to be your review of the dish? It's a taste, it's comforting, but I'm not sure if it's good enough to make you cry. Then take your typing lip, Mapu will never attack you, I think. Nom 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 nom. This is so good! Beep, beep. Are you still eating? 
No need to stop, but just listen. There's something I need to confirm with Ilya. You mentioned that your magical girl faced some trouble when you tried to move to the mirror world. How do you return to the real world you originally came from? Do you have an idea? I... I wasn't thinking about it at all. Wow, I'm amazed. That might be the secret to the power of magical girls. They don't think. They just act on instincts. So going back is difficult after all. Hmm, Ruby, what is your view on this? Yes, let me see. Neither Ilya nor Mio can use spells that advanced. To be more exact, even if they summon a castle spell, they wouldn't have the skill and knowledge to precisely select the location to return to. I need them to figure out it out themselves. After all, I'm just a stick. What, uh, what happened with all these special secret um, te techniques that you had? Actually, I have no problem with the way it is now, you know? No, it's a big problem. You're not being useful at all, Ruby. But you're right. I was too busy to think about me. You. I was forgetting about many things. I understand. You have your family and friends in the original world, Ilya. Yes, Rain and Luvia. Cell and Laser. Ah, Cell and Laser it is. Laser it is the big titter one of those two, right? I dub I judge them by the tit size. My big brother, everyone at school, they might be worried about me. <gasps> What's wrong? You look very pale. Like the pale blue sea. You're such a mug. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got something very important. Chloe, I left Chloe behind in the real world. Well, that may be true, but I have a feeling that Chloe is doing okay without you. Now, Chloe, instead of worrying about you, she probably happen to keep Shiro all to herself. She be all hoo hoo hee hee hee. That tiny little devil is probably turning into her devilish charm and gloating right now. You should be worried about all those things like like that. Remember that? Huh? What is it? Can you please explain with words with that mouth of yours? That sounds so weird. Morals. Is Chloe a friend of Ilya? And Chloe, is, she's like my twin sister, I guess. I'm sorry, it's a rather long story. Sounds pretty complicated. I'm intrigued. I'm sickened, but intrigued. Hmm, I can't make empty promise, but I will do all I can. The fact that your world and our world connecting in some sort of magical way is actually a very dangerous situation. We're going to do an if we're going to do anything, we need to be careful. And news on reality, Marble. I'm working on it too. Ah, I'm so busy these. Something is approaching at high speed. Flying creatures. <gasps> Ackerman. I have visual on number of violence, Senpai. The jewel is still showing the same direction, so. Yes, understood. But I'm in my dessert. Ruby, come back. We're transforming. Roger that. Steady. Yeah, that's not weird. Lord Jason, intruder that broke through the vibe and defense and now approaching. You don't have to report every little thing. I can see that myself. A lovely pink magical girl and a black magical girl who looks both sturdy and squishy. If you ask me, the former is more gorgeous than you and the latest is more endowed. That's just fucking weird, man. A correction loss on your part for match to be decided before it's even begun. Yes, not even funny. Yeah, better do that. Lord Jason, Lord Jason, please provide an accurate comparison of the enemy once again. Yes, I will refrain my ana analysis. The form is not as flowery, read Kals, as you, and the letter is not as sexy, read crazy. Now, what do you think? Oh, my Lord Jason, what embarrassing compliments you're brazenly giving me. But lying is no good. The pink one is not a physical developer as I am, and the black one's clad in cold and more impersonal colors. Did you just ignore me? And so effortlessly. Whatever. In any event, that successfully got around your unreasonable demands. You always make things a devil adventure, even in casual conversations. Yes, I love peace, but I have no sympathy for intruders. I shall punish the thieves. I haven't stolen anything. I, I think? 
if I haven't stolen your heart, of course. Muha, muha. But in so, I will really return it. Sister Kirk said that you can't ask them what their circles are up to their punishment and... She's totally right. The land of dragons and sea is as sweet and smart as well. Me. Everyone here is gentle. The people are happy. They all worship me. Or so it seems. But in actuality, the crazy queen who turns any bad kid into piggies. No matter how small they cream. Hello, Shelly. And that's pretty awful. That's awful. That's the reality of this oceanic dictatorship. This media cycle. Help <laughs> me. Oh, Jason, do you say something? Nothing important. I was just giving a speech. Anyway, it's a war. We're fighting a war, Medea. Seems the girls took the virus down without a hitch. In my great wisdom, I expected as much. What? So you weren't actually bringing out the big guns with those violence? Look, Jason, what on earth are you planning? <laughs> what do you think the best weapon to defeat your enemy in battle is? It's not a powerful noble title, natural disaster. It's carelessness. It's being careless, Medea. True. That is a definitely. Um, you know, when the, the, the enemy do dumb shit thing and you're like, well, perfect. I'll take that with me. A relaxed mental, mental is the poison that kills humans. It, uh, I'll secretly make them realize that later. <laughs> he is very weird. They'd be very proud of themselves defeating those survivors, and I'd be the one to break that pride. Of course, I will destroy them, ship and all. Remember, magical girls are stubborn as they come. Yes, when you think you defeat them, yes, when you breathe a sigh of relief. There they are, the next day. Rise and shine, Lord Jason, they say. It's morning, they say. That's my waking nightmares, so that is the horror I will inflict upon them. Understood, so I will make them them deader than that. Got it. Come on, magical shipping bottle. Release. Ugh. But please forgive me. I didn't know how much to prepare for the ship. All I managed was five dozen dragon two wars and a raw ram bearing a curse that decayed enemies kill. That is pretty massive. That's all I have on hand. My apologies. So you always carry all that around? How terrifying! I'm curious as to what your definition of peace-loving heart is! Yes, I'm not good in battle, but I'll do my best. Alright, everyone. Charge! Okay, so you're not listening at all, but that's awesome! My wife is the best of the best! I guess that's good. Master, now there's a galley charging at us. What? There is more, they don't have any intention of talking at all. Even if we were the ones who trespass their territory first, they're still so aggressive. You're saying in there, you two. I call in the naval support Blackbeard. <laughs> I power up with a jump and I'm so fine. You can you get gases and just fart on them? Ooh, that's biological like warfare that is the Neve Convention is against that, you know? Are you still alive, Lano? I know it's tough already, but now we got a sermon to deal with. We're winning, but they won't let up. They're closing in on us. Is this King's magical girl? She's a very cautious, well-prepared opponent. Yep, I can feel them getting closer. We have nursery stone to thank for that. What? Well, that's them. That's... Greeting visitor from another world. I'm Medea. The magical girl of love and healing. Medical Medea. A pleasure to meet you. That of Ruby, is she? Yep, she's a little different by the format yet not to steal slit is definitely Caster. Caster, the mage servant, Ilya's first real opponent. Oh yeah, didn't she fought Yeah, I think it was Caster, right? Yes, that's right. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm Ilya. Ilya's feel? Ilya, do you know her? Yeah, but she may not know me. Oh, but who's that handsome doll? Are we acquaintance? Oh my. I wouldn't have been so rough if I'd known. I'm sorry. I don't dwell on the past, so even if we were friends. Why don't we forget about it and focus on the present? It's easy to forget the bad things that happened in the past, right? Huh? Yes, 
Let's forget about our bad just now. We can just chalk it up to mistakes on both sides. She lowered her staff. Whatever the case, I'm glad the fight's over. I think we can resolve this by talking like magical girls are supposed to. Uh, aren't most magical girls actually fighting? If we can actually talk to her. Talking? That's a wonderful idea. If you could take an opponent's love just through conversation, that's better than fighting. That's how you obtain the jewel, isn't it? That jewel covered in the blood of its former owner. Which kingdom's medical did you kill? I'm sure it was a very difficult fight. Will you tell me how you did it? I'd like to know. Just for reference, of course. She gave it to us? That was how it happened? That's not how it happened, <laughs> Medea. I did not bet in a magical pot. We didn't try to kill each other. Nursery gave this to me. I see, understand. You came from Nursery Run's kingdom. And now you come to take my jewel. <laughs> How energetic and strong minded you are. As a magical girl, you're not someone I can welcome. But as a queen, you're not someone I can ignore either. Am I right, Lord Jason? They say you're gathering the jewels. I would like to praise you for your bravery and recklessness. Everyone, would you come to my castle? Tell me your travels on the way. It's been centuries since I've been able to talk to a magical girl. Centuries? Really? Been that long? Oh my god. Time fly by, don't it? That was part two, right? Yeah, it was. Ah. Like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know where I am. The land of the dragon and the sea. Yes, I like this. Wet and moist. Not medieval, little, that's weird, but I, you know, the ocean is wet and moist. This cast belongs to me and Lord Jason. Please come inside. <laughs> oh, that can be taken out of context. Oh, God, I hate myself. Weird. Lord Jason, that is. She mean the doll? I think so. Can I ask you a question? Anything else you like, as long as it's something I remember. But I already know what you're going to ask. You're thinking I might be Medea, the heroic spirit of the Prince of Cultures, correct? Well, you're wrong. It's true that I was born from Prince Medea, yes? But I'm not the same you think I am. Even if she exists in your world, it's a different person. I was merely model of the Princess Medea. I'm but a young girl's fantasy. I act like Medea, I got sad like her, laugh like her, and I live happily in the tiny world I was given. The servant system is an active summoning system, but we are passive and born from the unconsciousness. Damn. Our purpose was different from the start. A different purpose? You didn't come here because you were summoned? That's right, I, w I was wished to be this way. And there is no final goal in this wish. There is no only sudden end. Even if we save the world, we won't be able to end. Because as long as we're sought, the next story will soon begin. But that's all in the past, now that I find myself here. How about that? I see, I understand your situation. So unlike Ilya, you wandered here from a different world, did you, Lano? To find oneself in a strange land, not know what to do, that help is feeling something I know well. So I won't just turn into a, you into a pig. Oink. To tell you the truth, that was my original intention when I invited you here. I knew it! I knew this cat Rico Ash! Probably has all the world's ready to get a special cosmic lime! Oh shit. Stuff that would turn you all into little piglets! As expected from priests and from the age of guards, her major curve is one different level than ours. Ah, Ruby, you should have said that earlier. Oh, but but if you're going to leave Lana B, then you can do the same for me. No, you're different. You're a magical girl. I'm very cruel to magical girls. Oh my god. What? But don't I don't want to betray them anymore. That girl won't betray me. I should trust your eyes. She's talked to Jason again. Why can't we hear him though? Very well, this is what Lord Jason says. That magic girl is smart enough to lie. Her heart is a spirit of desire, so she has uh, so impressed. My god. Excuse me, but can I carry out to shop him? 
What? No, I'm the only one who can have my way with Lord Jason. Please don't. Anyway, Lord Jason, being gentlemanly for once. Sure about that? He's a bit weird, creepy. He's like Shucky. He's saying to call off the sneak attack and talk with you instead. Huh? Is that what we were planning from the start so we can talk all you want? No, I'm not interested in your problem. I don't care about other magical girls. What I'm going to do offer you is a peaceful trade. This island and this castle remind me of Corinth. I still want to continue my tranquil life here. Whatever you do outside this land, I promise I won't interfere. Does everyone agree? Yep, of course. If we weren't just attacked out of nowhere like that, we wouldn't have. Right, Machu? But what about the jewels guide us, and what did you mean by trade? I meant that, yes, as I won't interfere with your business. You won't interfere with mine. And no, no matter how much you want it, you can't have this jewel. I named it the, the Tomoy Stone. Tomoy? Timon Stone? This stone is what supports this oceanic kingdom and gives me power. This world is big, but also tightly closed. There were once many more magical girls here. They all wanted a kingdom of their own and so forth with and stole from each other. Dude, that's pretty grim actually. Imagine all these magical girls like, ah, oh, sweet! Boop, <laughs> Oh, well, 52 have been obliterated. Well, you're up and, go up and running, Steve. I was one of those girls. I'm a healer, a medical, magical girl. Oh, God, that's hard to say many times. I have barely any means of attacking. The most I have is mental offensive and divine punishment. Things like pig transformation, tiny world confinement, and so on. Dude, that's pretty awful. The battle was very difficult. I was a relatively weak, magical girl after all. It's like hearing an amazing swimmer say, but I don't know how to fly. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure, but I think Jason is saying there's nobody as scary as you. Silence, you barbarians. You are who is special in destruction. Speak of which, I want to try a bust a noble fantasy too. Ahem, excuse me, I'll get back on topic. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should give Medea an um, assassin uh, Medea and give her a buster MP. Yeah, for the fun of it. The magical girls fought each other in pursuit of their own ideas for peace and order. It was a clash of values and world, world views. I tried to run from the fierce combat, but it was impossible. Each time an enemy came, I would just stab, stab, and stab some more. So much for magical, med med medical, magical girl. Like, stab, stab. What now? <laughs> Must it's probably best to ignore that. Who knows when rule break might show up. Stabbing up. Ugh. Before long, this stone that appeared in my hand grew in weight and shone brighter each time I fought. I can tell this stone is the catalyst that supports its fantasy. What of the area outside the kingdom's jurisdiction? You must be talking about the area where the magical girl's influence doesn't reach. That's the neutral zone, a buffer zone born from the balance of power that all the fighting gave rise to. You cannot receive blessing of your power there. Do you understand? This jewel is the only small hope I have left. Taking this from me would be equivalent to my death. So the only thing I can give you is a promise to leave you alone. Ilya, I won't try to steal your jewel. So please leave. With that jewel you can create whatever land you want. If you want something, use your stone to get in instead. If you want a friend, make a land of friends. That sounds like a very weird thing. Wait. I want to make a land of hot and busty waifus that chase me. It didn't work? That. I'm sure it will be wonderful. A place where everyone who becomes your friend. That isn't right. I don't want more friends. I want to be with the ones I already have. But we go to school together. We laugh together. Sometimes we fight and go our separate ways. But even then, before long, our desire to see each other again becomes too great. I was able to meet someone like that. Someone as important to me as myself. So I don't need anything else. Compared to you and your wish to just live in peace. I know it's a very greedy and selfish girl. I'm sorry, please. I came here to save my friend. I'm not here to steal your jewel. I don't even really know what they do. You know a lot about this world. If you could just give us some clues. A way to get out. It may seem cruel, but you cannot leave this world now. Not only you can you not save your friend. There's no exit for you either. As long as you're a magical girl. 
No, you won't even have the will to the will to leave. That's how desperate this place is. Oh. That's scary. In the end, you will always be weak magic user, a weak magical girl. One who can only make a miracle happen for the sake of her friends. The power of friendship. Isn't that a good thing? So in the end, you will definitely come to rely on the power of the jewel. Just like we did, burning each other's to ash as we clung to that tiny hope. In the end, I'm going to rely on this jewel? Give up on this, Miju girl. If you want to know how to make friends, I'll have to teach you. But we, we didn't made name Miju. That is the one thing I can do for nursery rhyme. The girl who gave up your jewel disappeared. And wait, what does that? The jewels are where our wishes dwell. They are the last light to keep us alive. When nursery rhyme let her go, she quickly vanished into nothingness. Of course, there is no need for you to be sad. That was her choice. And even without waiting for destruction, that greedy mad queen of the land of snow and honey would never ignore her. The land of sweet will fall to mad forces sooner or later. Perhaps an will let you escape from esca from Mad's clutches. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry, nursery. But I, I have to. I have to say, me, you no matter what. Oh dear, it was probably your stubbornness that drove Nurse's reaction. Or maybe she given up, up herself and was on the verge of disappearing. Even if she could do not do it, she entrusted her hope to someone promised who still. Ah, yes. It's so stupid, that's a problem with sugar brain magical girls who come from fairy tales. My dear, what is... What the fuck? Oh, nay. I'm sorry, Tifa. Shan Li. The rumbling from the game scares them. How oh, fast. Hope you might... Wait, I'm gonna... So, now I don't hear it. And the cats won't hear it either. I'm so sorry, Tifa and Shan Li. I didn't know you were... We're gonna get scared from this. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Let me hear some of those nasty little comments you always make. Is this a change? And this is great! The time I'm burning the media wants to see the last in the world has come to visit visit her. Someone keeps going to even towards London Surgery. Someone who tries hard, even if they want, don't know how. Someone who does their best, no matter how better than Bruce they get. Someone who doesn't even think about compensation. Medea, just like you when you were in the temple before you joined me. That's why you're showing your true self. What you feel is an anger born of hatred, is righteous rage born from sorrow. Don't tell me that after all this, you're feeling sorry for yourself and wishing you tried a little harder. No, I was. I didn't. I'm the queen of land of dragons and sea, a priestess of the goddess Hecate. You were never able to become king, no matter what you did. So I built a kingdom for you and settled down. Yes, that's right. That's right. You couldn't even kill yourselves. So that was right for you. Oh, dude. Dude. Which means now you must follow your own fate. Dude, man, Jason, you're holy shit. That's that's mean. You can work, work, or work even harder. A magic girl is all about doing the things all the way, right? Um, that's... that's right. I'll do it. I'll get to work. Good answer. Let's see. To start with... The Sportoy family's adventure on Siren Island. Diorama so long as way, has a long way to go. Right, Lord Jason. Plus that 148, 1 to 48 scale Argo Kit and a superb mobile DX tiles are still in their boxes. You're not going to call yourself Grey's greatest builder without completing these two, are you? Aren't you embarrassed? I'm sorry, Lord Jason, but I gave Taos to Europa. Oh, Europa. Um, maybe they used to be hardcore scale modelers. The Godney <laughs> Ah, yes. The Godney Prada Epa faces for you is crying. Yes, Ultimate. You're right, Lord Jason. All right, you're finally fired up. It was worth making you talk to those people, even if it was a pain. Then on aggression pact as usual now. We're dang lucky Jill came to us before Madva arrived. You lost the will to fight, so this is truly your lost chance. All you can do is heal. Don't be stupid, ignoramuses. Ignoramus. I think you're great. Right, my pretty little Medea? 
Show me once more how wild it is not to be able to die in battle! Right, thank you, I will, I will. Um, it looks like she couldn't handle her guilt causing as a healing time magic girl and push all her will to fight onto her familiar. It's common for magical girls in puberty to be dependent on like that. I didn't want to know that. Medea looks like she really wants to fight. Whee! Are you going to transform? Medea won't be easy, an easy opponent. If we have to, we can use the relationship to at least get most of the Doctor? Doctor? Doctor! The connection can't be on the cards! Of course it has. Don't underestimate a modeler. When I use an air brush, I always make mask things up properly. Oh man, is this a reference to like uh, her doing all the models in um, uh, F F8 Carnival Phantasm? You know, she has all the saber models and all that. A severe your link without the world the minute you arrived at this castle. Yeah, what? Why are we dumb? Uh, I'm sure you know this, Master. But the castle is surrounded not just by humanoids, but the large creatures as well. Here we go again! Aren't magical girls supposed to become friends after they talk to each other? <laughs> you don't want to talk, aren't you? We'll have to find them. I know, that's right. I can't cause any more trouble for them. Right, I'll do what I can. Man. Oh, damn. Ah. Oh. I, I need to rewatch. Um, Fate Carnival Fantas. It was a while. <laughs> but to be fair, I used just Blackbeard on this battle. Pretty much nuking. I mean, what are they gonna do? Try to stop him? Ha! <laughs> He's Blackbeard. <sighs> you, I guess, healing alone wasn't enough, but I already knew that. <laughs> By the way, you are out magical girls over there. You feel like going for a ride on my Argo? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Such pickup lines. Look at Lord Jason. Oh! Even as word of Godzilla spilled from your mouth, you specifically went for my friend shot. Is that you telling me you haven't given up in yet, my media? Maybe you still have another card up your sleeve? Of course, it's natural magic goes because I have two more stages of transformation. It's like fucking Dragon Ball in here. I don't want to, but I have no choice but unleash my forbidden power. To be specific, I will no longer be Lily. Hey, whoa! Wait, let's slow down! If you're not going to be Lily, you're going to be that? It's that form that burned down the castle in Corinth! That's bad! That's real bad! It's too monstrous. We're having a magical girl party, so if a magical old hag appears, I'll be sued for false advertising! That is probably not the biggest problem. And believe me, you would be the one who gets hurt if that happened. I'm telling you, this is for your own good. I'd much rather become an ind indescribable pillow like thing than it happens. Ow! Quite Lord Jason, media serious master. I wouldn't get hurt at all, and I won't be an old hag ten years from now. I mean, yeah, she wouldn't. Old hag? And she would be lovely, elegant as a woman. Yeah. You <laughs> leave her be. She self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs> now let's stop her, Sam. If she becomes an any status, we will get out of control. <laughs> why? Why? Why are we so mean to Medea? That's enough. The battle ends here. I just came here to see me and not destroy the entire kingdom. But the magical girl is supposed to fight. And beside my mother's soul has been ignited. <laughs> I defeat you, make a mold of your mass produce it for our country's new for That's weird. That's quite weird. Please don't come up with a convoluted with a plan with a meaning for a first encounter. Are you a psycho? Uh oh. It's like the cat. <laughs> I don't understand this world, these jewels, or any of you. I hate this kind of stuff, and I don't need any jewels. I'll find another way. That's why, Midi, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight anymore. After all, we are both magical girls. Midi, I don't know why you created this land. But at least understand that you have something you hold dear. Something you've been fighting for. 
a girl worth fighting for. Elia, that is very moving, but... Made him fight for no special reason. It's not for the sake of something she holds dear. Hello, Jason. She created this land because she felt indebted to me and she's been protecting you out of fear of other magical girls. She made an excuse to live a quiet life because she believed that would keep her from becoming a menacing witch. I tell you, she is frivolous about everything. The only time she gets serious is when she's building models. I admit that, but it was you, Lord Jason, who commanded me to confine myself to you. Well, of course, if you leave your own land, you'll become a witch. That's your fate. And if you become a witch, you turn into just another Echo. That's why I advise against going to our other lands. Another Echo? Who's that? The Dolphin? Echo? But you don't need to worry anymore. Here, young lady, you want this, don't you? Take it. Cool. Are you sure after all with these lots of things? Spare me the details. If we beat you, then I win. But if we lose, then Medea loses. Get it? I'm twisted that way. I wouldn't give that stone away to anyone who wants it. I will ever push into the hands of noble fool who says they don't, whether they like it or not. That's okay with you, isn't it, Maria? Either way, we lose if we went to the war against mid me mid Before that happens, it feels better to pass it on to a fool who's a lot like you in the past. I don't mind, but are you sure about this, Lord Jason? I'm not happy, but I'm used to it. Fading away while indulging in past glories? But not becoming a witch is more important than that. Even if your dreams are dashed, it's better to pass on as a girl. Sounds weird. Isn't that right, my Medea? And I think of this in my life coming to a close, the one final stop in a known land before returning to my home. I still would like to see Jason as a servant. Major dickbag, but yeah, you know, I could imagine him as a pretty OP actually, you know, considering, uh, you know, he actually led all these heroes and legends of the Argo and all that. I understand. As it Lord Jason's wish, I will give her the jewel. However, I won't tell you anything. If I talk, it won't bring back sad memories. Like all the girls I've slain. Damn. My fate will end here. Medea, you're going to disappear too? Yes, but even with that hope, I still have lingering attachments, so it will take a while. After all, I still have 287 <laughs> plasma water to fill. Oh my god. After three months, it takes me 250 years. Go, go, my dear. What? Well, that's a lot of models. I see. So, Prince Medea's magic was the interference with the transmissions. So, what happened? Were you able to get any new information? We got a jewel. Ilya obtained a second jewel, but that's all. Medea said we'd better investigate the basics of this world on our own. Mm, from what I'm hearing, it's not like Princess Medea know everything but kept her silence. Damn it! Was that a dig against Ilya or was it out of thoughtfulness? Either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. Hmm. Where's Ilya? I don't see her. They said it was to wind, wind her, so she went to the stern. Ruby's with her. Yeah. Ruby? Oh, yo! Yo! Oh, you called? What's this? You seem down in the dumps, even after a major victory of a sort. That was no major victory. Media was going all out to begin with. She fought because she had to, because we muscled our way into her land. And in the end, it I took the jewel, that jewel from her. I think you look at it the wrong way. Sometimes people have no use for something, but can't throw it away because that would be a waste. I think that was the jewel was the Medea. She's a very powerful magical god, you know. Even without the jewel, she wouldn't even be able to create her own land. Yeah, but despite the power, Medea was gloomy and haunted by dark memories. She said I wouldn't be able to escape from this world, so long as I'm a magical girl. Yeah, can we just do a Kamamaha and blow up? Up the entire fucking sphere. Like, whoo, out of this world, flying! I wonder if that's true. Well, I can't say for sure either, but what will you do for do of it? When you get me your back, want to create a lot of squeeze, squeeze, he, he love or something for the two of you? <laughs> that's a funny name. 
I'm willing to cooperate. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, Ruby? Jeez. Uh, I wish Chloe were at a time like this. This is real world. It's cute on a surf, but I think that there's more to it. Yeah, no shit. It's pretty, pretty brutal. We have to hurry up and find the owner of the reality marble. If we can do do that, we should be able to find a clue as to Mia's whereabouts. That's good. But, yes. Uh, we have finished another part of the... Prisma Code event. I already forgot what his name. The Land of Dragons and Sea. Damn. That was, that was pretty, seriously, pretty dark. Holy crap. With all the magical girls murdering each other. Like, fuck me. Uh, that was pretty messed up. But yes, I will be back with more FGO later on. So thank you for watching. See you later on. And have a continuous super great day.